Now, when considering where to invest your hard-earned money, two popular options often emerge, the S&P 500 and the High Yield Savings Account. Both offer unique advantages and disadvantages, and understanding these nuances can significantly impact your financial future. So let's dive into the key differences and help you make informed investment decisions. What is the S&P 500? The S&P 500 is a stock market index that tracks the performance of 500 large companies listed on U.S. exchanges. It's often considered a benchmark for the overall U.S. stock market. By investing in the S&P 500, you gain exposure to a diverse range of industries from technology to healthcare. Now, some advantages of investing in the S&P 500, let's go with historical performance. The S&P 500 has had a long history of outperforming other investment options, including bonds and, of course, savings accounts. Also, diversification. Investing in the S&P 500 provides diversification, reducing the risk of significant losses. And then also another advantage is liquidity. You can easily buy and sell S&P 500 index funds or ETFs. Another advantage, potential for high returns. The S&P 500 has a potential to generate higher returns than a high yield savings account, especially over the long term. Now, here are some disadvantages of investing in the S&P 500 you should know. Market volatility. The stock market can be volatile, meaning it goes up and down, up and down pretty significantly. And the S&P 500 is subject to market fluctuations. Another disadvantage, fees. While index funds have lower fees than actively managed funds, there are still fees associated with investing in the S&P 500. Also, risk of loss. There's always a risk of losing money when investing in the stock market that you need to be aware of and should know about. Now let's talk about the high yield savings account. What exactly is that? A high yield savings account is a type of savings account that offers a higher interest rate than your traditional savings accounts. These accounts are FDIC insured, making them a safe and reliable way to save money. Now some advantages of a high yield savings account. Number one, low risk. High yield savings accounts are considered a low risk investment. Also liquidity, you can access your money pretty quickly and pretty easily. I can attest that getting our money in and out of our high yield savings account has been very smooth and pretty fast. Another advantage is the FDIC insurance. Your deposits are insured up to $250,000 per depositor, per bank, per ownership category. So you can rest easy knowing that your money is protected in your high yield savings accounts. Disadvantages of high yield savings accounts? Well, number one, lower returns. High yield savings accounts typically offer lower returns than the S&P 500, especially over the long term. Another disadvantage, inflation risk. The interest rates on high yield savings accounts may not always keep pace with inflation, which can erode the purchasing power of your savings. Now here's a real world example that I think you'll find very interesting. Let's compare the potential growth of $1,000 invested in both a high yield savings account and the S&P 500 over one year and 10 years. The high yield savings account with a 4% APY, after one year, you'll have $1,040. After 10 years, you'll have $1,480.24. Now with your S&P 500 index fund that typically earns an average annual rate of return before inflation, 10%. After one year, you'll have $1,100. After 10 years, you'll have $2,593.74. As you can see, even with a lower initial investment, the S&P 500 has the potential to generate significantly higher returns over the long term due to the power of compounding. Now, while both the S&P 500 and high yield savings accounts have their merits, the S&P 500 generally offers higher potential returns over the long term, especially when adjusted for inflation. However, it's important to consider your risk tolerance and financial goals before making an investment decision. If you're risk averse, a high yield savings account may actually be more suitable than the investing in the S&P 500. However, for those seeking higher returns, investing in the S&P 500 through index funds or ETFs can be a wise choice. We like to invest in the S&P 500 or a U.S. total market index fund or ETF and then keep our emergency fund in our high yield savings account. And that just keeps things 
at a pretty good balance for our goals of investing and building wealth for the future. Remember, it's always important to consult with a financial advisor to create a personalized investment plan that aligns with your specific needs. Now, there are some things that I wish I knew about investing, like which accounts to open that I talk about in the video on the screen. Check it out and I'll see you over there. Peace.